Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The show is about to begin. What if everything we thought we knew about the origins of civilization is challenged by a single archaeological find? Picture this. A Neolithic site in Turkey known as Gobekli Tepe, buried in time from around 9,500 to 8,000 BCE. This is no ordinary archaeological find, my friends. Wow, look at that. This is the home of the world's oldest known megaliths, massive stone pillars that tower with an imposing presence. But it's not just their age or size that's captivating. These pillars are intricately adorned with anthropomorphic details and reliefs of wild animals, silent witnesses to the rituals and beliefs of a time long past. Gobekli Tepe sits on a limestone plateau, a natural throne in the heart of an open steppe grassland. An ideal location, it would seem, for nomadic hunter-gatherer groups to settle, to build, and to thrive. It's a place where the seeds of civilization were sown, where the transition from hunting to farming began. So... That's incredible. It's beautiful! What makes Gobekli Tepe so fascinating and terrifying at the same time? The story of Gobekli Tepe begins in the mid-90s, during an archaeological survey. This Neolithic site, nestled in Turkey, was first unearthed and brought to the world's attention in 1995. The archaeologists were in for a surprise as they discovered massive stone pillars, the world's oldest known megaliths, intricately decorated with anthropomorphic details and reliefs of wild animals. The discovery hinted at a past filled with mystery and intrigue. These ancient stones, silent witnesses to the passage of time, provided invaluable insights into prehistoric religion. The site, it was believed, served as a settlement and a sanctuary for nomadic hunter-gatherer groups. This was a revelation that made the world sit up and take notice. Excavations began earnestly, but with such a large site, progress was slow. The enormity of the task at hand soon became clear. Despite continuous efforts, less than 5% of the site has been excavated till date. Just imagine, less than 1 20th of the entire site has been uncovered, leaving us to speculate about the vast amount of information that is yet to see the light of day. The site was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2018, further testament to its historical importance. It is not just a monument, but a window into the beginnings of village life and the transition to agriculture. The inhabitants, it was discovered, were hunter-gatherers who supplemented their diet with early forms of domesticated cereal. The location of the site, too, is noteworthy. Perched on a limestone plateau, it was surrounded by an open steppe grassland. It boasted a rainwater harvesting system and had access to raw materials for construction. The earliest structures at Gobekli Tepe were built between 9500 and 9000 BCE, and the site was expanded until around 8000 BCE. But what really sets Gobekli Tepe apart is its age and the complexity of its construction. Gobekli Tepe takes us back to a time when humans were transitioning from hunter-gatherers to settled agriculturalists. This monumental shift occurred during the pre-pottery Neolithic period, a fascinating epoch that started around 9,500 years before the Common Era. At this time, our ancestors began to settle down creating the first inklings of what we now recognize as village life. They were taking their first tentative steps towards agriculture, starting to manipulate the world around them in ways that would ultimately transform humanity. The inhabitants of Gobekli Tepe were part of this transition. They were hunter-gatherers, yes, but they were also more than that. They were pioneers, venturing into unknown territories of human behavior and societal organization. They hunted, yes, but they also gathered, not just food, but knowledge, insights, experiences. They supplemented their diet with early forms of domesticated cereal, hinting at the beginnings of agriculture and the taming of nature. These early humans were starting to control their environment, to shape it to their needs. They were no longer simply surviving. They were beginning to thrive. They were laying the foundations for the complex societies that would follow. Societies that would build cities, create art, and explore the stars. Yet as we stand in the shadow of the massive stone pillars of Gobekli Tepe, we are confronted with a paradox. These early humans, these pioneers on the cusp of a new way of life, were capable of building complex structures, structures that have lasted for thousands of years. They built these megaliths, these enduring testaments to human ingenuity, at a time when they were just beginning to plant the first seeds of agriculture. The question then arises, 
How were these early humans able to build such complex structures? The most striking feature of Gobekli Tepe is its large circular structures with massive stone pillars. These pillars are an enigma, a testament to the skill and ingenuity of our prehistoric ancestors. Towering above the landscape, they stand as silent sentinels, their secrets locked away in the passage of time. Imagine, if you will, these colossal stone pillars, each one painstakingly carved and erected without the aid of modern tools or technology. Some of these pillars reach over 16 feet in height, weighing up to 10 tons. That's the equivalent of two fully grown African elephants. Yet, they stand, defying the pull of gravity, a testament to the architectural prowess of our ancestors. But these aren't just slabs of stone. They are works of art, adorned with intricate carvings and reliefs. The anthropomorphic details etched onto these pillars are fascinating, with human-like arms and hands visible on some of them. The reliefs of wild animals are equally captivating, with depictions of lions, boars, foxes, birds and snakes, among others. Each carving, each relief, tells a story, a glimpse into the minds and lives of the people who created them. What's even more intriguing is the purpose of these megalithic enclosures. Why were they built? What purpose did they serve? Theories abound, of course. Some suggest they were temples, places of worship for the people who lived here. Others speculate they might have been astronomical observatories or perhaps social gathering sites. The truth, however, remains elusive, shrouded in the mists of time. These pillars are not just architectural marvels, they also provide insights into prehistoric religion. They give us a peek into the spiritual beliefs and practices of our ancestors, offering a tantalizing glimpse into a world that existed thousands of years ago. They stand as a testament to the timeless human quest for understanding and connection, our innate desire to make sense of the world around us and our place within it. Despite decades of research, Gobekli Tepe continues to baffle archeologists. This ancient site, brimming with megalithic marvels, still clings tightly to its enigmas, refusing to relinquish them easily to the probing minds of modern-day researchers. But it's these unanswered questions, these mysteries, that make Gobekli Tepe even more intriguing. One of the most perplexing aspects of this site is the purpose of the vast megalithic enclosures. These massive stone circles, adorned with intricate carvings of wild animals and anthropomorphic figures, are undoubtedly impressive. But why were they built? Some hypothesize that these enclosures served religious or ceremonial purposes, acting as sanctuaries for the nomadic hunter-gatherers of the time. Others suggest they might have been early forms of communal spaces, fostering the growth of social structures. Yet without clear evidence, these theories remain speculative. Even more baffling is the question of how these monumental structures were constructed. Remember, we're talking about a period around the 10th millennium before the Common Era. This was a time before the wheel was invented, before the advent of metal tools. Yet somehow, the people of Gobekli Tepe managed to quarry, shape and erect these megaliths, some of which weigh up to 20 tons. The techniques and tools they used, the level of organization and labor required, these aspects of Gobekli Tepe's construction are enshrouded in mystery. And then there's the question of why the site was abruptly abandoned around 8000 BCE. What prompted this sudden desertion? Was it due to climatic changes, societal shifts or something else entirely? The silent stones of Gobekli Tepe offer no answers. These lingering questions about Gobekli Tepe are not just about satisfying our curiosity. They hold the potential to reshape our understanding of early human societies, their beliefs, their capabilities their ways of life. Unraveling these mysteries could potentially rewrite our understanding of early human civilizations. And that makes the quest for answers at Gobekli Tepe not just a fascinating journey into the past, but a crucial endeavor for comprehending our collective human story. Today, Gobekli Tepe stands as a testament to the ingenuity of our ancient ancestors. This Neolithic marvel, nestled in the heart of modern-day Turkey, has been making waves in the world of archaeology ever since its discovery in 1995. Now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, its vast network of stone pillars and enigmatic carvings continue to enthrall and mystify us. 28 years of painstaking excavation have revealed a mere fraction of the site's treasures. Less than 5% of this ancient wonder has been unearthed, leaving the majority of its secrets still buried beneath the Turkish soil. This leaves an expanse of untouched history waiting to be discovered. 
The ongoing excavations are a testament to the site's importance and the potential revelations it holds. Each stone turned, each artifact unearthed, brings us closer to understanding the lives of our nomadic hunter-gatherer forebears. It's a tantalizing hint at the prehistoric religion, culture, and society that existed over 10,000 years ago. While the current status of Gobekli Tepe is impressive, its future prospects are even more so. The unexcavated parts of the site promise a treasure trove of new discoveries. These could reshape our understanding of Neolithic life and the dawn of civilization. With each new excavation season, archaeologists and historians are on the cusp of unearthing new insights into the world's oldest known megaliths. The potential of Gobekli Tepe is vast. Every pillar, every carving, every grain of soil could hold the key to a new discovery. It's an exciting prospect, not just for the archaeologists on the ground, but for all of us who yearn to understand our shared past. Gobekli Tepe is a reminder that there is still so much we don't know about our past. But with every stone we turn, every pillar we uncover, we get one step closer to unraveling the mysteries of this ancient site, and in turn, the mysteries of our own history. The story of Gobekli Tepe is far from over. We have journeyed through the heart of an enigma, a place that whispers tales of a time long past, and yet the echoes of its voice are still as resonant as ever. Gobekli Tepe, the Potbelly Hill in Turkey, is a testament to our ancient ancestors' ingenuity and their capacity for grandeur. You see, this site is not just a collection of stones, but a mirror reflecting an era when humans took their first steps towards civilization. Our story began with the unearthing of this mysterious site, a discovery that sent waves across the globe. The enormity of the structures, the striking pillars standing tall after all these millennia, is a marvel that leaves one in awe. It's not just the size that fascinates us, but the intricate details etched onto these megaliths, narrating stories of our forebears, their beliefs, and their world. As we ventured back in time, we found ourselves amidst hunter-gatherers who, despite their nomadic lifestyle, erected monumental structures, a feat that continues to baffle us. Their diet, supplemented by early forms of domesticated cereal, hints at the dawn of agriculture, a monumental shift in human history. The unanswered questions that surround Gobekli Tepe are as intriguing as the site itself. What purpose did these megalithic enclosures serve? Were they mere settlements or sacred sanctuaries? These riddles, yet to be solved, add a tantalizing layer of mystery to our narrative. Today, despite years of excavation, we have only scratched the surface of Gobekli Tepe. Less than 5% has been unearthed, a testament to the vastness of this archaeological treasure. The site's designation as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2018 is a recognition of its significance and the need for its preservation. As we step away from the shadows of these ancient stones, we are left with a profound sense of wonder. The story of Gobekli Tepe is a tale of human resilience, of our ceaseless quest for knowledge, of our innate desire to leave a mark. As we continue to dig deeper into the past, who knows what other mysteries await us at Gobekli Tepe? If you enjoy our documentaries, please consider subscribing to our channel. Your support helps us continue to create and share fascinating content with you. Thank you for being a part of our community.